Hey golf fanatics, welcome back to the second nine out here at Uber All Star. Something like that. I don't even want to practice pronouncing again. I lost all my Spanish from high school. I think it's Iber All Star Golf Club. That's how you pronounce it. I don't know. I got comments down below tell them or in our last video tell me how to pronounce it. I just just not not me. But anyways, uh didn't make an intro or an outro on this video. Um the reason kinda why was well, if you watched the first course vlog, you noticed I mentioned I was very hot all the time. Um, and this video is gonna be shorter because I did not finish the round. This is like the first time I've, I've never had that happen before. Usually I always finish the round and have no problem, but it was hot and it was not getting any better. And I didn't really help myself out, um, but I basically had a little like heat stroke, heat um, illness sort of thing. And it just, it bit me on like hole 15. Like I could not finish the round, I was getting dizzy. I didn't really help myself out. I think I would have been fine because uh, I was doing, I feel like I was doing everything right at the course or just like a normal, you know, it was hot the day before. It was hot out there. Obviously, there wasn't a lot of breeze on the course, um, which doesn't help. But the night before, if you haven't watched our vlog day two, um, I drank a lot on the, the little catamaran cruise and out dinner. And we went to a bar afterwards. So like, I didn't really help myself the night before. I drank a lot of alcohol, which I work in an industry where we have a lot of um, crews out in the heat, and we you know, talk about heat-related illnesses all the time, and one of the things is to not drink alcohol the night before, or if you do, you drink a bunch of water with it. So not following my own rules right there. Um, and then I ate breakfast that day, but we had our COVID test in the morning. So I went back, we hung out by the pool, had some sugary drinks and forgot to eat lunch um, and our tea time was around one so I didn't eat lunch so during the round I'm hungry um, which your body needs food to you know to be fueled up right so just things like that wasn't helping myself out didn't drink a lot of water um, the night and that morning prior um, and I just it hit me I laid down which I learned to not lay down I won't do that again um, but right when I got back up I was dizzy and I was like there's no way I can finish this round like I feel like I'm gonna get sick just not good. Um, if you comment down below if you've ever you know had like a heat illness or if you haven't been able to finish around because you're too hot, uh, never have happened to me before. But I mean, what can you do? So a little shorter video, uh, missing some shots in there. Just was just struggling that back nine. Um, just trying to finish it. Uh, but anyways, guys, hope you uh, at least can hit the like button on this. Um, I know it's not our typical style of video, but still, just I was trying to bring you know just good content, showing shots, um, not too much talking. Uh, honestly, I was like, I was struggling. Like, I don't even know if I would have been able to talk if I was just showing my own shots, but um, also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm gonna put the vlog day two down below and the front nine down below also if you haven't watched it, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy this. I did really like how this course was set up. Um, just the, the undulation and I guess the amount of they brought tons of dirt in if you notice like there's hills everywhere which Cancun's not a very hilly place um so like the course style was super cool um how it was laid out and I would love to come back here and play this course again now that I know how it is because there were some holes where I had no idea where I was hitting it um and just this whole trip my golf game was really bad just taking you know weeks off before this from being sick so uh just <laughs> I would love to play this course again where I actually can hit the ball somewhat where I want to hit it but um that's golf you know it happens but anyways guys we'll see you on hole 10 um sorry about not having an intro but I was struggling I'd even make it out to dinner that night I had to stay in drink some water eat some food get some Pedialyte in me I was it was a struggle but uh anyways we'll see you guys on hole 10 peace all right hole number 10 par four I don't know, it'll be in the top right, uh, but yeah, let's get it going.
Guys, look at how deep this hole is right behind the green. Nick went long on that shot, but that is crazy. Literally below him, hard to tell on camera. Did you hear him? <laughs> <laughs> I can hear him.
All right, guys. So hope you guys like that little quick video. Um, that'll conclude the round at Eber All Star, something like that. I don't want to try it anymore. Hope you guys enjoyed that. The next video that's gonna be up is Mayakoba, which is the PGA Tour course. So um, you guys look, you know, look out for that one. Um, a super cool course. Um, just seeing where the pros play, they got the little like underwater cave thing too on that course um, out in the middle of like the seventh hole, I believe. Um, but it's cool course um so look out for that video we we'll play in a little bit of a hurricane also which is pretty crazy so just pay attention to that one um if you haven't yet make sure you like the video uh subscribe if you're not subscribed and uh i can just say i did not have any heat problems um at my Acoba. so uh, that video will be a full video or at least the full front nine and full back nine but uh anyways guys we'll see you in the next video we always appreciate you guys watching um and just you know enjoying this journey with us uh, and we're having a lot of fun doing it, and I can't wait for Moose to come back. Um, he's almost there. At the time this video goes out, he might have like one or two weeks till he can start swinging again. So um, we're going to get him back out there. We're going to get some some uh, lessons. Well, I don't know about lessons, but we're getting his driver down because uh, I need him. I need him with his driver because my driver has been all over the place. Might have figured it out now, but... Um, <laughs> We just gotta, we gotta get our games back together. So uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Always appreciate it. Peace out.